What's up guys, this is Roberts1911. Today we're going to be discussing how to solve your problems with your game stuttering on PUBG as well as your PC crashing with the new Windows 10 update. Alright guys, before we get started, one thing we're going to do is we're going to hop over here and we're going to check our NVIDIA GeForce drivers. So what we want to do is we want to pull up GeForce Experience on your PC, click here, and this will pull up. Next, we're going to click on drivers and make sure we have the up-to-date latest driver. We'll click for updates. All right, we're good. So there may be a problem if you had one of the issues that I had where the GeForce experience will not pull up. It'll start to and then it'll pause and it'll just stop and it'll be a black screen and you'll have an error code. Now, this error code will say something like error code 0x0003. If this is the problem, what you need to do is this. You're going to click on Google or whichever browser you prefer. And we're going to go to geforce.com. And we're going to click here. We're going to go to drivers. And then we're going to select whichever uh, product you have if it's a 20 series card in a notebook or desktop whatever series card that we have we're going to click onto it it's going to update it's going to automatically select one for my card this is correct it's 2080 ti your operating system etc and we're going to start search and then it's going to do this going to search through all of these to find your correct one and then all you'll do is you'll click download now once you do this it's going to re-download geforce experience and the correct driver update for you once this is complete this will be good for you and you'll be done with that once you do that and your driver is completely downloaded press exit and then we're going to go check on your windows you're going to check for updates to make certain that you have the latest and up-to-date Windows updates. And once this is done, you're going to restart the PC once those updates are done and installed. And then once it's back up, we're going to restart the PC one more time. Ah, evidently we do have an update that just popped up. Cool. We're good. So once you do that, you're going to click down here power and you're going to restart the pc super easy all right guys once you do that you're going to hop back in game and you're going to check and see how the game feels if it's smooth if it's not and you should have your problem fixed however if it still occurs i want you to go back one more time and then once you do that you're going to go to your game files on pubg and we're going to click here we're going to go to Properties, Verify Game File Integrity. You're going to do that one time here just to make certain those are good. And then we're going to hop right into the next portion of the video. You're going to want to open your NVIDIA Control Panel. You're going to want to click Manage 3D Settings. Once you're in NVIDIA Control Panel and in the Manage 3D Settings, you're going to want to jump over here to your image sharpening make certain that you have this set to sharpen 0.5 and ignore film grain to 0.17 and enable your gpu scaling this will ensure that all your images are sharp and clear next you're going to want to make certain that your ambient occlusion is set to performance this adds realism to scenes by reducing the intensity of ambient light on surfaces Anisoptric filtering should be set to application controlled. This ensures that your textures are nice, clean, and crisp. Anti-aliasing should be set to off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction should be turned on. This allows for gamma correction on your anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing mode should be left to application controlled. Next, anti-aliasing transparency should be turned off background application max frame rate should be turned off you don't want your computer to be limiting itself on the amount of frames that it can produce next CUDA GPUs this allows you specifically to make certain that 
all your cores in your GPU are functioning, working on your game, giving you the max amount of frames possible. You do not want the DSR factors to be turned on for this simple reason. If it's turned on and your GPU is upscaling to a higher resolution, your frame rate will be lower. Next, you want to have low latency mode turned on. The reason for this is that the latency control reduces latency by limiting the number of frames that a CPU can prepare before the frames are processed by the GPU. You want to have your max frame rate turned off. Your monitor technology, you don't really have to mess with that, but if you do, that's fine. Just enable it to whichever one your monitor is set. If that's G-Sync or FreeSync, whatever that is, just, you know, you can do that. That's fine. You want to turn your multi-frame sampled AA off. And in the OpenGL rendering GPU, you want to make certain that your exact GPU is selected. Don't leave it on auto select. It just doesn't quite perform quite as well. But make certain that you have your GeForce card selected right here. Now in power management mode, this is very, very important. We want to make certain that we have prefer maximum performance enabled. And in our preferred refresh rate, that it's set to the highest available. Next, we want to make certain that our shader cache is on. This is really important because it helps to reduce your CPU usage. Texture filtering and a Soptric uh, sample optimization, I believe. That you want to make certain that it's on because it's going to limit the amount of samples that it takes and allows it to get better performance. Your texture filtering should be left on here for the negative load bias because it's going to help sharpen your texture filtering. Next, you want to make sure that your texture filtering quality is set to high performance. If you do not, this is going to eat away at very valuable resources. Very next, you've got texture filtering trilinear optimization. You want to turn this on because it's going to allow bilinear filtering on textures on parts of the scene where trilinear filtering is not necessary. Next, do make sure that your threaded optimization is set on or set to automatic. The reason for this is it allows you to take advantage of multiple different CPU cores for the same game. It allows you to get more performance. Triple buffering should be left off. And last but not least, we need to make absolutely certain that your vertical sync is turned off at the PC level here on the NVIDIA 3D settings. The reason for this is with the vertical sync, it can cause your computer, if it's running at higher frames, to stutter as it's trying to limit your frames. I've had several friends that have had this problem that this one setting itself has been their main issue. So just make absolutely certain that your vertical sync is turned off. And then with these last two, you don't really have to mess with these. Your virtual reality pre-rendered frames should be set to one. And then I believe your variable rate should be, I don't remember seeing anything about that one, but that one hasn't really bothered any of my settings. So once you've done all this, you're going to have two buttons down, or I'm sorry, three buttons down here. Okay. Cancel and apply. You want to click apply and then okay. Now guys, once we've done that, there's only one more thing that we need to do. We're going to jump over here onto Steam. Once we're in Steam, we're going to right click on PUBG, click properties, slide over here and click your local files, and then click verify integrity of game. And we're back. We click verify integrity of game and is validating our Steam files for the game. Now, at this point, you're gonna run through it. It's gonna take a couple minutes, guys. Once it's completed this, however, it's going to tell you one of two different things. One, you've either got a file or multiple files that do need to be revalidated, or it's gonna have none. What you wanna do is you wanna keep verifying game file integrity until it says all files have been validated. At which point, you need to go in and restart your PC. After you restart your PC, I would recommend for one more time, just for the sake of it, retesting your uh, file integrity for PUBG one more time. At that point, hop in game and see how it feels for you. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you would, please leave me a like, 
subscribe to the channel, please. Let me know if it worked for you. If it didn't work for you, we'll try and see what we can do to help figure it out for you. Thanks, guys, and hope you enjoyed the video.